Are you ready to learn about variables in Kotlin? Variables in Kotlin, and really most programming languages, are one of the core building blocks. Without them, it would really have an impact on how we write code. In this video, you're going to learn about the two types of variables in Kotlin, and we'll see some examples of how to declare those and how we can use them. There are two types of variables in Kotlin. Val, which are assign once variables, or effectively read only. And then there are var variables, which are mutable, which means we can reassign the values as needed. So if we look here within this function, we can take a look at creating val and var variables. First off, we'll create a val. So we'll use the keyword val, followed by the name, colon, the type that we want to use, equals, and then I'll assign it my name. If I then try to reassign this value, we'll see that we get this red squiggly line here. If we hover over that, we see that the error says val cannot be a reassigned. We'll see that the compiler enforces that assign once characteristic of the val, meaning that once we assign that value, we can rest assured that that value is going to not be reassigned. Now, if we want to create a mutable variable, we can say var goo. Again, we'll give it the same type. Now, if we want to reassign that, we'll see that there's no problem. It will allow us to reassign this as many times as we want. So this is the key difference between val and var. Val, assign once, var, assign as many times as you want. Now we're defining these as local variables within the scope of this function, but it's also possible to declare top level variables outside of any enclosing function or class. To do that, we can place our cursor outside of the function. And if we create a val called top level foo, we can then assign that a string value. This value now lives in this package level scope. So this is a top level variable, meaning that it could be accessed anywhere within this package scope. We can do the same thing with var variables, var, top level var. If we then come down here into our function, we could modify that top level variable. And again, we have it there defined to whatever we want. Now, let's clear all of this out. And let's take a look at another way that we can assign a variable. So previously, we were assigning with the name, colon, type, and then the value. However, Kotlin allows us to use type inference, which means that if the compiler knows what the type is based on the assigned value, then we can omit the data type when defining the variable. So instead of saying val foo colon string equals Nate, we could say val equals mate. And in this case, the compiler can infer that this is going to be of type string based on this expression. So this is really useful. It allows us to write more concise code and we don't have to use the boilerplate types when it's obvious what that type is going to be. Hopefully this helps give you a basic understanding of the different types of variables in Kotlin and how you can initialize them. Thanks for watching.